I had to get out of bed for this one. Yo, Dre, I got something to say. So, I stumble on this video. You know, Peter Stager, Stagger, is from Conway, Arkansas. He's the other new racist of the week from Arkansas that was at the Capitol causing big time problems. FBI surrounded his house, big old arrest. They booked him into the jail in Little Rock at the Pulaski County Jail. I I didn't know. I was kind of waking up. I was like, is this guy getting arrested? Or He had his legs propped back, drinking on coffee. There's a laptop computer in front of him. They're joking around. He's kicked back. You'd have thought they were at a Toby Keith concert or a Jeff Foxworthy reunion. You know, Jeff Foxworthy. You might be a redneck. If you go to meet women at your family reunion, you might be a redneck. You know, it was just... Dude didn't have on a mask. Um, he's been traveling, obviously. Um... He said, you know, he had the flagpole, and he, he was trying to kill the cop. He said he thought it was Antifa. Uh, regardless, he was trying to kill the cop, the cop, full uniform. Uh, in an interview, the cop said he really thought his, his life was over, and he yelled out, I have kids. And uh, it worked. Someone pulled him away, saved his life, because that man from Conway was going to kill him. Here's uh, the man from Conway um, talking about it. Um, he's so charming. Um, uh, you'll hear what he had to say. Everybody in there is a treasonous traitor. Death is the only remedy for what's in that building. Well, you need to stand up over and you need your strap. One more time. Everybody in there is a treasonous traitor. Death is the only remedy for what's in that building. Well, you need to stand up over Everybody in there is a treasonous traitor. Death is the only remedy. He wanted to kill some motherfuckers. It was a United States flagpole. And they're lounging around. He's walking down to take his shower. I've been in jail for drinking too much. I've been in jail for smoking weed when it, it wasn't legal. Um, they didn't treat me that way. And just like they all said, well, if it would have been a Black Lives Matter person protests and they would have done these are the same guys that you want to go there's black lives matter protests in town you want to go light some buildings on fire we can blame it and they'll blame it on black lives matter the newscasters that i've seen now doing this video don't even bring it up we all know what's happening this is around police officers where he tried to kill another police officer but not only is the racist thing going on, the fraternity of protectors of white supremacy have their thing going on. It's, it's a deal. So from Richard Big O, short for Bigot Barnett, who I myself have experienced threats from and experienced Experience um, in threatening my good brother a whole lot, um, Derek Van Vos, in, in our campaign to break the keeping Springdale white public servants deal. The, we can talk about all that. I hope America is catching on. This country was founded on racism, white supremacy, and we're a young country. And uh, these people are losing their uh, power. Heard a Don Lemon say something or somebody, one of those neoliberal reporters say something about, this is white privilege. Well, white privilege at least. It's um, 
white supremacy brotherhood is what it is. Peter Steger arrested, and Lord knows, um, the double standards. Um, and if you talk about this, the same justifiers that justify police shooting black men in the back seven times will say on this, well, they let Black Lives Matter get away with burning cities all over the United States. Make up shit. White violence is a problem. Hey, yo, Dre, I got something to say. I do not condone violence against anyone. 